Hi dear students, I hope all of you are doing very good. Okay, so we are Brainiac's classes and you know that uh, we are going to come up with a new idea that is Brainiac's capsule. This is for uh, those students who are aspiring to become doctors on, for exam, uh, NEET 2024. Okay, so how this is helpful actually? So uh, it's an idea like every day we discuss three important questions from any of the chapters. Okay, so this is like uh, a bedtime capsule. So before you going for bed, you can just watch these three videos. I mean, uh, just these three questions. Surely we have one around 116 days are left. So daily three questions you are uh, watching it. Surely it would help you because all these questions would be very important for NEET exam. Okay, so uh, this is the day one. Okay, so we are taking the chapter basic concept of chemistry and we have selected three important questions that is expected for NEET 2024. Okay, so the first question in front of you we will be uh, and if you have any doubt feel free to ask in the uh, comment section. Okay, so the question here is chlorine is prepared in the laboratory by treating manganese dioxide with aqueous hydrochloric acid. According to the equation, 4 mole of HCl gives MnO2 plus MnO2 gives 2H2O plus MnCl2 with chlorine. Gives chlorine. Okay. Now, the question they are asking is, how many grams of HCl okay, react with 5 gram manganese dioxide? This is what they are asking. So, they are interested only in manganese dioxide and HCl. Okay. Whenever question like this comes, what is the first thing you need to do, sir? So you need to check whether this equation is balanced or not. That is the most important thing. You need to check it out. Here, if you see four hydrogen atoms are there. Here also four hydrogen atoms. Here one manganese atom. Here also you can see one manganese atom. Okay. And if you check chlorine atoms, here four are present. Here two and here another two. So totally four are present. Oxygen also, if you check two, here also two. Now, First thing we need to write down here is the stoichiometric ratio. Okay. Then we need to check. Uh, we need to relate between who and who between HCl and manganese. So we are interested only in these two. We don't need to consider the other things. Correct. Okay. Let's try to see how to do this question. Okay. So we know from the equation that the stoichiometric ratio here is what actually. Okay. We'll take a pen. Yeah. The stoichiometric ratio for this particular reaction is we know that 4 mole of HCl. Okay, we will see from the question itself. Yeah, 4 mole of HCl and 1 mole of MnO2. So 4 is to 1. Okay, and if you need it, if you have time, don't waste the time. If you have time, you just write the other stoichiometric ratio also. That is 2 is to 1 is to 1 because we are not interested in output. Or the products because in the exam they are not mentioning about the products they are asking you to link or try to relate between MnO2 and HCl so from the stoichiometry I can say that 4 mole of this is HCl okay this is HCl and this is our MnO2 okay from this I can say that 4 mole of HCl okay you can see here 4 mole of HCl needed how much amount of MnO2 sir or I can say 1 mole of MnO2 okay now in the question they are asking you they have given you 5 gram of MnO2 and they are asking for this 5 gram of MnO2 how many amount of HCl is required so how to do this question so we can say 1 mole of MnO2 since they have given everything in grams we need to convert this mole to respective grams so what is 1 mole of MnO2 we know that 1 mole of MnO2 will have a weight equivalent to molar mass expressed in grams so for MnO2 how to calculate the mass so manganese in the question they have given the atomic mass of manganese is 55 oxygen we know 16 into 2 32 so if you add these two you will get as 87 gram correct so that's how the 87 gram is coming here now now what you need to do sir now what you need to do similarly for hcl what is the molar mass chlorine 35.5 and for hydrogen it is 1 so i can say that one mole hcl if you are taking one mole of hcl if you are taking it will have a weight of 36.5 gram okay now here you have four mole of hcl so that's why four into 36.5 is coming here clear 
Now, why we have done like this? Because we want to calculate how much amount of HCl is needed when I am using 5 gram of MnO2. That is what asked in the question. So, how to convert this 87 gram to 5 gram? That is the most important thing you need to remember here. So, if you want to convert 87 to 5 gram, what you need to do is first divide by 87 on both LHS and RHS. This is my LHS and this is my RHS. Okay, so you divide by 87 on both sides. So what will happen? This will become 1 actually. When you divide by 87 on this one, it will become 1. Then the next step, you multiply by 5. Again on LHS and RHS. So this will become 5 then. So here what it will become? 4 into 36.5. First you divided by 87. Then you multiplied by 5. Okay, so right now you are getting for 5 gram MnO2, how much gram of HCl? So you need to calculate this to get the actual answer. So that is 8.39. So how to make that calculation little faster? You can multiply 5 into 4. So this will become 20. And next you have 36.5 divided by 87. Okay, so 10 you multiply by this one. So this will become 365 into 2 by 87 okay 365 into 2 is how much sir 730 okay so 730 by 87 it will come now how to do this very faster i will tell you a shortcut assume this 87 as 73 itself if it is 73 the answer would be how much i will get 10 but now you have a denominator that is greater than 73 that is it is 87 so i can say my value would be little less than 10 or less than 10 that is check in the options which option corresponds to that particular answer so i can see that that would be 8.39 so if you see in the options you can see here 8.4 is the nearby answer to that both c and d i can rule out so option b would be my correct answer Hope you understood. Okay. So if you have any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment box. Don't worry about that. So I just am telling it one more time. I have taken based on the stoichiometric ratio. I have first thing I balanced the equation. Next I identified who, which are the terms I need to relate between. I understood it is manganese dioxide and HCl. Then based on the stoichiometric ratio, I first written the equation. One mole of MnO2 needed for mole of HCl. Then I converted to the respective unit. They have mentioned it in grams. So I converted one mole to respective gram, four mole to its respective gram. Then I checked what they have asked in the question. In the question, they have asked if they if you are given five gram of MnO2, how many amount of HCl is needed? So I want to convert this 87 gram to 5 gram. For that, I divided by 87, then I multiplied by 5. When you are doing this on the LHS, you need to do it on the RHS to get the respective amount of HCl from the question. Okay, so I got the answer. I hope you understood it. Okay, so let's switch to the next question. Very important question. So the question they have given here is if 10 volume of dihydrogen gas react with 5 volume of dioxygen gas, how many volumes of water vapor would be produced here? So here they are trying to relate between hydrogen gas with the oxygen gas. So these two are reacting what you will get. They are also mentioning it is water vapor. So just we need to relate between these two and try to write the equation in the first step. Okay. So let's see that. Okay. So I have tried to write the equation. So I have related. Uh, you can see here hydrogen with oxygen and they mentioned the product is water vapor. So H2O. Now next step is what? Please don't forget. Always try to balance it. So I have balanced the equation. Now you can see here four hydrogen atoms are present. Here also four hydrogen atoms. Here two oxygen atoms and here also two oxygen atoms. Okay. Now you can see one thing here. This is a ga gaseous substance. This is also gaseous and the water vapor is also gaseous. So I can directly apply Gay-Lussac's law of gaseous volume. So I can directly say two volume of hydrogen combines with one volume of oxygen to give two volume of water vapor. Correct? Now, now the most important thing to remember here is they have given 
they have given to prepare water vapor they have given you some amount of hydrogen and some amount of oxygen whenever they have given some quantity for two reactant minimum two reactant if they have given you need to check whether there is limiting reagent present suppose they have given only 10 liter of hydrogen and they say that oxygen was available in plenty then you don't need to consider limiting reagent but here they have given the actual quantity for hydrogen and oxygen so whenever two reactant or two or more reactants given quantity is mentioned in the question you need to check whether limiting reagent is present or not how will you check that very simple take the given quantity here okay take the given quantity here it is in liters it can be in mole or it can be even molecules take that value as such okay then divide by stoichiometric coefficient here the stoichiometric coefficient of hydrogen is 2 so i have divided by 2 here the stoichiometric coefficient of oxygen is 1 so i have divided by 1 okay now check which value is less whichever value is less that particular reactant would be my limiting reagent but here you can see fortunately both values are same here also you are getting 5 here also you are getting 5 that means there is no limiting reagent in this particular case okay so even though you have given given quantity for both the reactant if both of both those values are equal then there would be no limiting reagent that means you can calculate the quantity of water vapor produced either from oxygen or you can calculate it either from hydrogen okay so here i have taken oxygen so based on the given stoichiometry what we can say sir we can say that one liter of oxygen here one is the coefficient one liter of oxygen can produce two liter of water vapor this is based on stoichiometry i am writing one liter of oxygen can give rise to two liter of water vapor but but what is given to you in your case you are given 5 liter of oxygen and we need to know for this 5 liter of oxygen how much amount of water vapor is produced so to convert 1 to respective 5 what you need to do multiply by 5 on both sides so this will become 10 liter so i can say that it will produce 10 liter or 10 volume of water vapor suppose some students say sir what happens if i am taking hydrogen instead of oxygen nothing will change sir so first you write based on stoichiometry that is two volume of hydrogen can give rise to what two volume of water vapor correct now given to you is how much liter of hydrogen 10 volume of hydrogen so tell me to convert 2 to 10 what you need to do multiply by 5 correct so here also you multiply by 5 so 2 into 5 it will become again 10 correct so if you have doubt i can write it don't worry about that so given that 2 liter hydrogen from stoichiometry i am writing it can give rise to 2 liter of water vapor now in the question this is based on stoichiometry now in the question they have given you 10 liter of hydrogen so i want to convert 2 liter to 10 liter what i should do multiply by 5 so here also you should multiply by 5 so the value would become 10 liter water vapor so that's what i told if you are taking oxygen to calculate water vapor or even hydrogen you will get 10 liter water vapor that will not change so my answer would be how much sir in this case so i can easily say my answer here would be 10 liter 10 liter would be my correct answer i hope you understood okay now let's switch to our last and most important question so the question given here is go through the question 20 gram magnesium carbonate undergoes decomposition to give carbon dioxide and 8 gram magnesium oxide now they are asking you what is the percentage purity of magnesium carbonate in this sample so since they are asking the percentage purity of magnesium carbonate I, I understood like i am assuming like this 20 gram magnesium carbonate includes some impurity also so the impurity with the magnesium carbonate is weighing 20 gram okay and that on heating is giving you 8 gram magnesium oxide now 
if you want to calculate percentage purity what you need to do so there is a fundamental formula you need to remember so the percentage purity of any substance would be equal to what actual mass of that pure substance divided by total mass of the sample so this total mass of that particular sample may include what also impurity also into 100 so here based on this what we need to do first we need to identify to produce 8 gram of magnesium oxide what is the actual mass of pure substance pure substance means pure magnesium carbonate that is needed okay then total mass of the sample we know including impurity it is 20 gram is present so first we need to calculate what is the amount of pure calcium carbonate needed for producing 8 gram magnesium oxide okay for this what we need to do we know that from stoichiometry one mole of mgco3 will produce one mole of magnesium carbonate one mole of magnesium oxide one mole of magnesium carbonate will produce one mole of magnesium oxide we will write that and based on that we will proceed okay so i can write one mole magnesium carbonate produces produces one mole magnesium oxide correct now i know that one mole of magnesium carbonate is equivalent to how much grams sir why i am taking it in grams because the option from we need to put the mass of the sample in purity equation that's why i am converting this one mole of mgco3 to mass magnesium is 24 carbon is 12 oxygen 16 into 3 48 so 48 plus 12 60 60 plus 24 84 gram i am getting and one mole of magnesium oxide magnesium 24 and oxygen 16 i am getting it as 40 so i understood like 84 gram magnesium carbonate will produce 40 gram of magnesium oxide but in our question we need to check 80 gram magnesium oxide will be produced from how much pure gram of magnesium carbonate so i need to know i need to convert this 40 gram to how much to 8 gram then i will get the respective amount of magnesium carbonate here so to convert this 40 gram to 8 gram what should i do divide by 5 on both sides i am dividing by 5 on both sides so this will become 8 gram and this will become 16.8 gram now i understood that 8 gram of magnesium oxide is actually produced from how much 16.8 gram magnesium carbonate pure magnesium carbonate the remaining amount remaining amount is how much 3.2 gram so total is 20 gram right so the 3.2 gram is impurity only so how to calculate now the purity of magnesium carbonate i can divide the pure uh, actual mass of the pure substance pure substance is 16.8 okay divided by total mass of the sample we know purity plus impurity that is 16.8 plus 3.2 or it is given directly in the question as 20 so 16.8 divided by 20 into 100 so this is nothing but 1680 by 20 that is nothing but 84 percentage 1680 by 20 that is 84 percentage i hope you understood this question okay so we will check for the answer here in the options we can see 84 is present 84 percentage okay so i hope today you have understood uh, today's daily capsule okay so if you are finding any difficulty especially plus two students who are finding it difficult or how to crack the neat exam please enroll to our brainiacs crash course program surely it is going to help you okay so tomorrow we will see with the next other new other chapter with three important questions until then bye